Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Brian with Team JTR Spartacus. We're gonna do a quick unboxing or just look at the uh, best top element doors. And it looks like it's getting ready to rain, of course, when I'm trying to do this kind of stuff. Uh, but here's the uppers. They are the twill ones, kind of close up there. They have that nice twill fabric. See a little dust and stuff. Um, but those are the nice twill fabric that matches the uh, factory soft top. So we'll also have the lowers, the enclosures for the lowers. And then as you've seen in previous videos, I have the bar element doors. So all this works together as a system. Uh, just hit the market. I do want to kind of let everyone know, um, I did reach out to Best Top via Gladiator Forum and they gave me some consideration. They gave me a discount of about 25% on this. Um, so shout out to Best Top for doing that. I don't normally take manufacturer um, discounts and services because I want to be free to say what I want about things. Um, Best Top gave me discount, no strings attached. Uh, so if there's something I don't like, I'll tell you, and I'll let the folks know at Best Top. If there's something I love, I'll tell you as well. So free and unbiased, um, but I did want to be very transparent that the manufacturer Best Top did give me uh, a discount on this to try it out. So, so just unboxing the Best Top Element door enclosures here. Um, so it looks like I've got one of the enclosures here and one over there. Um, and then I've got the uppers there and I'm gonna lay them out and kind of give you a, a look at some of these. All right, so these are the front doors. They have some instructions there. They're wrapped up neatly. Everything looks pretty good. These are steel, I believe, metal. I mean, they're steel. Um, comes with a lot of weather strip of some kind. Um, and I believe there's some foam tape in there and stuff. So we'll check out and post the instructions and see how they are. Um, I like the sort of black. Um, I'll consider if I want to paint it to match the factory color black or not, but we'll do that down the road and these will attach to those bar doors, which you can check out the video on the uh, link above. All right, so I'm gonna work in the back of the Gladiator as a table. I don't have any fancy shop or anything, so um, this is probably something anybody can do. Um, and I got my tools out, some basic hand tool stuff there, and some scissors. Um, decent instructions overall. I took a quick look at them. They look pretty good. They look pretty simple. And I'll let you know if there's anything in particular that comes up, and I'll try to take a couple stills and let you know how it goes. Um, but I'm alone today, and it looks pretty straightforward, so it's gonna be not a big deal as far as install goes. Paddles out fairly straightforward. It's just the uh, reverse of the install if you watch that. So this is open for access and it'll fit through because of course the paddle has to sit on top of that once this is put back together. So the next step's pretty straightforward. Um, all the instructions so far have been very clear. Um, and pretty much you're just setting that metal piece on the bottom of the bar. And then there's some carriage bolts you'll see there and they're here and they'll put them together. Simple as that. I'm just gonna do it real quick and. If there's anything weird, I'll let you know. If not, we'll just speed through. Okay, so the instructions say to actually tighten this. I was gonna leave it loose and then fiddle around with it, but I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it. And this is a great opportunity, uh, shout out to the kids, Jack and Ella. For Father's Day, got me this cobalt uh, set of ratcheting wrenches. You could use a socket on this too. I don't think it's gonna come through too much, but a great opportunity to use my Father's Day gift. So thanks kids. All right, so I should have ignored the instructions. I ended up tightening that and then this was off and didn't fit. So I've gone back and just popped that in to make sure it holds. There's a little bit of play at the bottom here. Um, and it was just enough that I couldn't get this paddle in when it was tight. So now I've got it sitting in there. I'll tighten this up and then I'll tighten up that carriage bolt. So uh, that's my thought. Uh, best top, I'll give them some feedback if they ask. And uh, it seems like the order is off a little bit. You should probably get this in and maybe just put it in loose leave this loose, get everything lined up and then tighten up, which that's my gut told me that and I should have just did it. So one of the reasons I chose to do this today is because it was sunny and bright. So it started off rainy when I first did the reveal and then it was sunny and bright and then it's rainy again. Um, you can see 
So typical Pennsylvania weather. If you don't like it, stick it around. It'll change. It looks like it might change again. Well, there you have a back door all assembled, um, at least in this, and we'll get it on and get the uh, uppers in. But you can see it's pretty simple. Basically, just disassemble that and then put it back on after you get this on and line that up and tighten it up. And that's it. And then there was some uh, foam and a little hook down the bottom. Easy peasy. Took about 10 minutes. One more step I forgot is we have all this weather strip seal. Um, to put around so it looks like it pretty much just rides around from like the door handle all the way around and then you have to cut some So that you have the little sections. So that should be pretty easy. I'll get that on there All right, so here it is um, Basically just sticking to the door frame around here. There's not enough door frame down here So it ended up sort of on the tube Kind of twisted a little bit. Hopefully that's not a problem um, Have to cut out here because there's nothing really to put it on and it's gonna be in the way of the hinges and here so um, overall hopefully that's good i'll do the rest of the doors and we'll get these on and see if that works right so quick note um you don't actually have to take this piece off i'm on the second one but at least not on the back doors I'll, I'll let you know on the front but if you're using a driver like this it'll actually fit down there it's a little crooked but it'll do the job and it can turn so you don't have to actually take the time to take these four bolts out and take this off you can just leave this alone this bracket because um, all we have to do is get that paddle off so we can get the front plate on. So you can kind of skip that part of the directions, save yourself a little bit of time on installing and reinstalling. But the backs are all done and safely nestled in the door cart for right now. I'm going to move on to the front. Looks like front passenger first. Just happened to be the one I grabbed. And there'll be a little bit of an extra step. I do have these uh, cups on here for these um extra mirrors so i need to get that off there first and get that out of the way and then we'll proceed with the directions which are pretty good and clear so far kind of foam tape very similar to the other side a little slightly different tools required three ace wrench and a phillips screwdriver here and then the rest is pretty much the same so stay tuned taking these mirrors off take about 20 seconds because i'm using the gun here so super fast and there we go all done okay so the front's the same thing um, I already took that out um, same thing here these can get down here without removing this bracket so I say leave it alone and then one thing I forgot to mention is make sure you have your keys you need to lock or unlock whatever move that out of the way so you can get that paddle out of there um, so the key will help move that so notice these holes don't quite line up quite right this one's just a little bit off this one's clogged up with some stuff um, sort of a moot point. I put one in there as a guide. There's three that they give you. I put one in there as a guide, but since I'm putting the, the mirrors back on it, it'll just hold it fine anyway, going through those ones of the cup. So I'm not that worried about it. Um, you might have to play around with that a little bit if you're not running this mirror, or you're running something else that doesn't go through that hole. Um, you might have to play around with that a little bit and then figure out what you're doing with those uh, holes if you're running a different kind of mirror. So time to put the uh, weather strip on the front same basic process and just go around and do it um, the whole front was basically the same they were about 15 minutes each so uh, the, the directions are pretty good on timing and everything pick up i cut that uh in half and it came up a bit short so i'm wondering if i got accidentally got the uh, set of the back one with the front because it was too short it was just enough to do here and here but not here um, so that came up a little short. So I'll shoot a note to best top. You see the instructions show that it goes in the middle there, but I didn't have enough to make it go in the middle there. So we'll see, or maybe I screwed up. I'll let you know on the next door, because maybe if I have too much on the next one, maybe I just screwed up when I made it half. So I'll have a little extra. We'll see. So it looks like I did come up short on the weather stripping um, here. So I will send a note over to the best top folks to see if I can get a little bit more, but I'm guessing they might have accidentally shipped uh, two sets of the rear length. Um, and the front is, is a fair amount longer there. So um, I came up short the same amount pretty much. Um, so I didn't mess up cutting it in half. I didn't switch because I have very little left from the front. That's pretty much it from the front. Um, and this little scrap here and that scrap. But very tiny scraps. That's it. So it's not enough that I screwed up on the front or anything or switched them. It looks like they might have just shipped two of the uh, back ones. Not a big deal. 
I'll shoot them a quick note and uh, hopefully they can shoot something out to me or tell me where I can get it. So I've got everything all done. I've uh, got them there ready to go. I'm just waiting for this rain to stop. Uh, hopefully it will. It's getting sunny and stuff. Waiting for the rain to stop and then I'll take the doors off and put the other ones on with the uppers and everything and we'll try it out. So here's all the half doors on. Uh, first thing I notice is there's some weather strip bulging out. So I'll probably have to make some adjustments here and get that inside a little bit more or trim or whatever I need to do. But overall, I think it looks pretty cool. Sort of the half door look. Uh, the matte black doesn't bother me at all and the shiny black's pretty cool. And I think I have the same bulging on the other side in the back. It just seems a little wide for that part. You see it there? Same thing. Uh, but overall, it looks pretty cool. I'm digging it. We'll get the uppers in and check those out. Okay, working on the rear upper, getting it started. There is some simple instructions that Best Top gives you. Um, I just put these caps back on. They don't need to be back on. And then there's some adjustment here with a small Allen key, hex key. Um, so you can adjust up and down. The one thing I'm not seeing, maybe this is it. No, that's not it. Um, the bottom of this has sort of Velcro or hook and loop fastener, and there's supposed to be um, some stick on adhesive stuff that goes on here, I believe, from what I read in the directions. I'll show you that in a second. And I don't see it in these uppers for the rear. I'm going to check the fronts too. Uh, to see if there's any in there and if maybe there's extra but um, so far i might be missing a few things here too so here's the piece i'm talking about it says to locate the adhesive hook strip in the parts kit and there was no all there was was these instructions and a little card telling you to, to uh, stay connected but there was nothing else in there so i think i'm missing that i'll double check but i think i'm missing it Here's what I got for the parts kit for the front. I haven't opened it yet. Um, it's got instructions. It's got some soft top zipper cleaner, which we, I guess the zipper's in here, you know. So, um, and it's got one of the little things for that and this in the front ones. Um, I don't see any adhesive on, on uh, adhesive and hook and loop Velcro stuff in this one either. Um, so I'll open it up and double check. Par for the course, it's pouring down rain while I'm trying to adjust this one. This back left one in particular is way out. Look at it. The other ones are pretty close after I played with them a little bit. And I played with that one quite a bit and it's way out. So is this pack passenger one, but I haven't played with it much. So I'm gonna get the cover on cause it's gonna fill up with water. All right, so as I mentioned, we have to uh, bend these a little bit these pins so what i came up with is, is there's just a four by four inside of here it's just so i don't scratch or make anything dirty that's sort of a break and i'm putting it on here pushing down and then i'm just using a uh, jack handle and i'm putting them in here and i'm bending it about i don't know about a quarter inch or so it's something i need two hands for but um, basically you get the idea push down on the, the the wood inside the towel and pull up on this and I'm trying to get the tops to go inward so these pins to kind of go upward so that's the idea it uh, did one already on the front and it worked pretty well I probably have to do some touch up here on the back but you can see I got way in up here so this back one I probably need to bring back a little bit more so I can get a finger in here but up here it's nice and tight so that looks to be the ticket you just kind of have to bend them to get them right where you want them and then do the adjustments inside these little collars make those adjustments and then the other thing I found is that um, you don't want to start the weather stripping all the way up here it's in the way there's a piece that hangs down I want to keep that intact so I'm gonna get some velcro and just velcro that to that when I have it together the same up here in the very end Okay, so what I figured is, is that you don't want this um, weather sealing that they give you to go all the way up to the top because the doors come with these and they're pretty nice kind of channeling. I don't know if it's going to channel water in or not. Um, so what I did was I got some heavy duty Velcro or whatever and stuck on the back. So I just went to the hardware store and got some of that. And that makes it nice and neat. 
and it seems to shut pretty well and everything. So that was hanging me up a little bit when I was closing, but that seems to work. So I'm gonna do that for the other doors as well. Okay, so this is what I got. I'm gonna check it out. It's a little wavy up there, but it looks like it's pretty good. Um, there's some variation, because these flop around a little bit, but overall pretty tight. So what I ended up doing, you see I got the Velcro on there. That does seem to help, actually. If you remember other Jeep windows, if you've had them, they have that Velcro on them. I know they've been doing away with it, but they still have some Velcro. I think back here they still have some, uh, very minimal. So what I did was I Velcroed these uh, pieces that come down. These are Velcroed on the top here. Um, this is Velcroed on here, so ba both back doors are exactly the same. So that piece comes down, Velcro's on there. Uh, that seems to help a little bit. It kind of makes the door shut a little better. You'll see there's lots of weather stripping on these, so they kind of stick out a little bit. But for the most part, I got them in there reasonably tight by bending those pins. So overall, it's pretty good. I haven't had a chance to, uh, when it's adjusted, have it uh, out in the rain. I had it when it was wide open, and my floors are really wet up here. Um, right now, I might pull this out and let it dry in the sun, but this is all filled up with water. I had to pull the plug actually today. So, um, but this had about an uh, inch gap when that happened and water was just pouring right down there. So I'm hoping this will be better. I mean, it might get a little wet. It is a Jeep, but um, I'll give a verdict so far. They're easy to get in and out. Uh, the Velcro seems to work pretty well. And I am waiting on some uh, weather stripping for the front of the doors from Best Top. So, um, so far so good. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Thanks.